This lens is so small that it fits into a sandwich. It's after the size of a tennis ball, it fits into your shorts pocket and you can fit into a coffee cup. It's such a great lens and it's only $79. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna put this tiny, tiny 50mm lens F2 from TT Artisan through its paces and find out if it's actually worth spending $80 on this tiny piece of gear. If you're new here, my name is Luca and I'm a filmmaker based in Bali, Indonesia and on this channel we talk about all things filmmaking. So if you find any of this interesting, please do like and subscribe down below because it actually makes a difference. Now let's talk about the most obvious fact when anyone would decide to buy a lens. Does it actually look good? And most importantly, is it worth spending $80 on this lens? To be honest, the actual built quality of the lens, it feels pretty good in my hand. Everything, the focus and the aperture feels very nice. The aperture is actually a tiny bit clicked. You might be actually be able to listen to that sound. The focus is very nice and smooth and also it is not an infinite focus which is also very good when talking about manual lenses it is very sharp the bulk is very nice the skin tones look very nice without any artifacts so straight out of the batch it is a pretty good lens you heard it right it is manual focus which means that if you're not good at manual focus you should learn and learning manual focus might be actually one of the most important things to do as a filmmaker so if you're scared of this lens just because of manual focus definitely don't be and learn your way. The thing that I see is that it might almost be a little bit too small. And let me explain you why. With the Sony a7S III, I always have a cage on, I always have a rig with a monitor, I have my handles on it, and it's actually a little bit too tricky to reach the manual focus just because of how small this lens is. Just, just look at it. It's literally tiny, right? So once it's on my camera, it's so hard to reach from below and to focus with it just because it's so close to the actual camera body. I actually tried to mount my focus rig to have an easier manual focus, but it is so small that it doesn't even reach the lens, which is a bit unfortunate. The weight of this lens, it's also pretty incredible. It's only 200 grams. Just to make you guys understand, the lens that I'm shooting this right now, it's a Sigma 24 to 70, and it's four and a half times heavier than this which means that you can just put this in your bag forget about it and if you need a 50 millimeter shot at f2 just put this guy on your camera get the shot done move on i mentioned the bokeh and i just want to say that it's incredibly smooth probably just because of the f2 aperture in fact you can use this lens in low light and nighttime also because of the f2 aperture it is such a fast lens that it lets so much light into your camera and allows you to keep the iso down and have that beautiful shallow depth of feel that we all love from 50 millimeter lenses as we mostly cover video on this channel i didn't really try this out in photos i only took a couple but i could only imagine that it's a much easier lens for photographers just because you're not gonna bounce around all the time with your camera you can just you know set up the subject and focus and then shoot while in video since it's such a tiny lens it is a little bit too small and a bit too hard to keep focusing if you're moving forward towards the subject or backwards or moving around with the camera or things are coming into the frame it is it is a bit tricky to keep everything in focus unless you're seeing it's kind of still and not moving too much overall i actually really enjoyed playing around with this lens so if you're looking for a super cheap 80 dollar 50 millimeter lens just get a few shots here and there this might just be your guy so i'll leave a link down below and until then see you guys in the next video next week